Hi everybody, this is Maya Abdel Halim. I'm the program manager of Air Film School. We have recently had the pleasure to run a workshop with one of the greatest tag team coaches. And I'm uh, honored to be interviewing uh, the one and only Gerald James. Hi, Gerald. Hi. Talk here, talk to you. Talk to me. Okay, good. I'll talk to you. <laughs> it's really good to see you. It's good to be seen. <laughs> okay. Good to be seen. I want to start off by asking you what are like, the actual responsibilities of an actor? What does an acting coach have to uh, do with the actors? My responsibility for actors is to see their gold. Is to see their gold. And with as much care, as much respect for their artistry, and as much uh, uh, challenging as I can bring, to polish that gold so that they can see it. Yeah, that's my, and my responsibility is to, uh, you know, train, uh, help them see who they are so they can bring that to the work and get out of their way. Push them and get out of the way. Lead them and get out of the way. Okay, so yeah, so it's, it's the acting coach is also like well, responsibility to create a safe space. Yes, you know, there is something else. There's a, a term that was uh, said, it's a Buddhist term, and it says, uh, you know, that the, the, the viewpoint of the leader okay. is the viewpoint of the students, of the followers. Sometimes in America, I, I'm in, in a couple of acting companies, and one of the acting companies goes to schools, goes to institutions, and you can look at the children, and you can see what the, what the principal's like. Because of how the children, how they behave, how they respect each other, how they disrespect each other. If they're wild, if they're, if they're wild and free, or if they're wild and dangerous, it tells you something about the leader. Okay. Yeah. So I make it my point to, you know, I'm a very spiritual guy. I make it my point to meditate before I go to class, pray, and make sure that, you know, that I see these people's gold and I keep a container where they can be safe and where they can explode and I can pull them back. So the person doesn't get, doesn't go halfway and you know, like a butterfly inside a caterpillar inside a cocoon, if it's left out, if it's opened up too soon, it never becomes a butterfly because it's always staying in that stage. So to just get everybody to the stage of where at least they can feel their wings, say, okay, I can, I'm safe. This is liberating, it's very beautiful. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.